with the Bitcoin price dipping into the low $50,000 region. Investors are wondering what price is likely to do next. Here we'll look at the data to see which price levels to watch for BTC. at the Bitcoin price action and what we can maybe expect next. And where better to start than the 200 weekly moving average heat map here we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com, which is a point at which many investors are looking towards as potentially a worst case scenario for BTC. Obviously, the past few weeks have been not ideal for BTC. And we can see we've actually dipped again to the low $50,000 region. If I just zoom in here, a few weeks ago, we actually dipped beneath this to about $49,000. And just a few days ago, we were actually at the 53 even slightly lower region for BTC. And this is currently sitting, this 200 weekly moving average at 38,000, pretty much $39,000. So this is potentially a large level to be watching if we are to break down even further. Alongside that, we have the Bitcoin investor tool which is actually converging very nicely, again at around 38, but this is always moving up practically every day. This is moving up a few hundred dollars. So it will be too long before, again, this is at about 39 towards $40,000. So both of these are potentially somewhat more bearish downside targets, but a little bit more close to our current price action. We have the Pi Cycle Top Indicator, or specifically the 111 day moving average, which is currently at around 62 thousand dollars but dropping every day the golden ratio multiply which i've zoomed in a little bit here and specifically this 350 day moving average which has been an excellent level of support for the btc price action pretty much throughout this entire cycle so what we can actually do is throw all of these indicators onto a chart and see how they actually look so i'm on trading view here using all of the bitcoin magazine pro indicators that we have so the chat looks a little bit of a mess here but we can go through them all one by one so first of all the bitcoin investor tool as we saw on the previous chat on site this is currently at around thirty-eight thousand dollars. we can also see as i'm filming this bitcoin has actually dipped about three and a half percent today so not the best day to be filming this but we did rebound quite nicely from around this 53 slightly beneath towards fifty two and a half thousand dollar region as well as that, like we said, the 200 weekly moving average, both of these are actually converging really nicely. As this is moving up at a slightly faster rate than the 200 weekly moving average, it won't be too long before we have a very strong level of support at around this $40,000 region, which obviously it'd be better if we didn't reach that level. But we have to acknowledge that it is definitely a possibility, especially given Bitcoin's more bearish price action of the past couple months. But for more upside potential targets, we have the Pi Cycle Top Indicator as well as the Golden Ratio Multiplier, or at least a few of the lines on that as well. So if we just look at the Pi Cycle Top Indicator, we can see that this 111 day is currently at about 62 and a half, maybe $63,000-ish, which again has been a pretty key level of support and resistance for BTC over the past few months. If I just zoom in a bit here, we can see that this level around here has actually been a big turning point for BTC as we've been raising in this kind of 60 to 70 and now 70 to 50 thousand dollar region so this could potentially be as this moves down a very key level to be watching over the coming weeks if bitcoin is to break higher obviously the key round level of sixty thousand dollars is going to be crucial for btc because big psychological round numbers 50 60 70 thousand dollars always gets the headlines always gets people looking and talking about btc once it breaks these big levels so that'll be another key level to be watching and as well as that Probably this region we had a few months ago before we broke to new all-time highs is also where we've recently bounced from in the Bitcoin price action. So around 52, maybe towards $53,000 will be another key level to watch for BTC. And as we could see from the golden ratio multiplier, this is actually aligning quite nicely with this $53,000 region. So I imagine just currently beneath price as we currently are is going to be a very strong level of support if we are to continue this downwards move as I film this. What we also can do is look at the just standard 200 daily moving average. So we can see that this is actually significantly higher than the Bitcoin price currently at around $64,000. So we may have quite a bit of resistance above us if we are to break towards that $60,000 level. Another consideration we need to look at is the short term holder realized price chart, which I've just zoomed in here. So we can see this is currently sitting at just beneath $62,000. So if we go back to the chart here, we really do have a lot of sell side resistance potentially between this kind of 60 to 63, $62,000 region. And beneath us, this 53K is obviously going to be a pretty key level of support. And like we said, that big psychological round number of around $50,000. So to be honest, I think until Bitcoin really makes its mind up, 
there's not a whole lot we really need to be doing. As long as your strategy kind of aligns with it, maybe you could be st scaling into your positions at strong levels of support down here, maybe even taking small bits of profit up here. But realistically, like when we were above $60,000, all in this region here, there's not a whole lot to be doing until we start breaking out of these ranges. If we just remove the, these couple lines here, we can see if we just exclude the past couple weeks of price action, when we've done previous price update videos, we pretty much said exactly this. Until Bitcoin actually broke sufficiently above $70,000 or beneath $60,000, there wasn't a whole lot to really be too worried about. And it was probably doing more harm than good trying to actively trade and invest in a market that's just ranging and very choppy. You could have tried to buy the lows and potentially sell the highs. But really, until we have a convincing breakout to either the upside or the downside, there's not a whole lot we really need to be doing. Now, we have had that convincing break to the downside, unfortunately, as we broke beneath this 60K level. We did bounce back above last time we broke, but now we're actually seeing some resistance as we've come up and retested this level. So now I'd be looking for Bitcoin to either regain that $60,000 level and not just temporarily wick above it. You see a lot of people potentially buying or long in the market as soon as we break above a key level. But you'll see countless examples of Bitcoin breaking up and then breaking immediately back down. So what we really want to see is Bitcoin come up, turn this into a solid level of support. And then at that point, we can maybe look to the previous levels we identified at around $62,000, $63,000, where we can maybe take them one by one. Or we could look to beneath where if Bitcoin is to continue this move to the downside, we'll maybe look to see Bitcoin break beneath these levels of resistance, at which point we'll probably start looking towards our downside targets towards $40,000. Also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And make sure to check out all the resources we've discussed today, as well as the many more that are all available on BitcoinMagazinePro.com, your number one source for Bitcoin analysis. So just to summarize, Bitcoin has had a less than optimal last few weeks of price action with BTC now ranging between that low $50,000 region and the above $60,000 resistance. What we can see is the 350 day moving average on that golden ratio multiplier has been a very strong level of support that we've bounced off multiple times, including just a few days ago. And as that currently sits at around $53,000, I'd consider that our nearest point of support just beneath price action. Although as we go lower than that, we're probably looking to that big psychological number of $50,000. And then even lower than that, we are seeing some converging confluence of support in the 200 weekly moving average and two year investor multiple at around $38,000 to $40,000 in a more worst case bearish situation. And above current price, obviously $60,000 is going to be the key level to break to start matching higher. But we do have quite a lot of resistance, not too much higher than that, around that $62,000 region. We have not only the short term hold of realized price, the 111 day, the 200 daily moving average. So there's going to be quite a lot of sell side resistance. So I probably can see Bitcoin ranging between this fifty dollars to $60,000 region for potentially a few more days or weeks. So really don't get caught up in the choppy price action like we could see as Bitcoin range from that seventy dollars to $60,000 region. It could be weeks or unfortunately even months before we really get a sustained trend change in the Bitcoin price action. And it's probably going to be doing a lot more harm than good trying to overtrade and try and outsmart the market. Realistically, your technical analysis like I've done today should be very quick, very simple, unbiased, and just give you some very actionable steps that you can take for your BTC investing. If you like this video, then please visit BitcoinMagazinePro.com where our analytics help you to cut through the noise to make informed data-driven decisions about Bitcoin. With over 150 live charts, personalized indicator alerts, in-depth crypto industry reports, API access, and more for a fraction of the standard industry price, including all of the trading view indicators we've used today, as well as many more that we didn't actually even consider today. There's quite a lot, and we're always adding to this list. So definitely consider becoming a site subscriber if you're not already. And let me know what your thoughts are on the current Bitcoin price action. Are you leaning more bearish and potentially seeing more downside price action? Or do you think we're overdue a little bit of a bounce, maybe towards and even above that $60,000 level? I look forward to reading and replying to them. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.